Hi guys! Welcome sa Engine Nerd Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang word problems in sequences and series. So kung gusto nyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ay ituturo ko naman sa inyo ang word problems in sequences and series. So, meron na akong previous video all about sequence and series, particularly yung arithmetic, geometric, even harmonic. So, kung hindi nyo pa yung napapanood, isililink ko na lang yung mga videos para ma-check nyo. So, I assume na napanood nyo na rin yun bago kayo pumunta dito sa topic na to kasi lahat ng formulas na gagamitin natin dito is na-discuss ko doon sa mga previous videos about these sequences and series. So, as a review, sinunod ko lang yung mga formula natin for arithmetic sequence, arithmetic series, and even geometric sequence, tsaka geometric series. So, tandaan nyo itong mga formula na to for arithmetic sequence and series, at formula na to for geometric sequence and series na gagamitin natin ngayon sa mga word problem sa video na to. Okay? For the first problem, we have a conference hall has 33 rows of seats. The last row contains 80 seats. If each row has two fewer seats than the row behind it, how many seats are there in the first row? Okay, so analyze natin. So meron daw tayong 33 rows of seats. So let's say ito yung first row. Second row, third row, fourth row, and so on. Hanggang 33rd rows. So, sabi, the last row contains 80 seats. So, meron daw tayong, let's say, 80 seats dito sa last row, yung 33rd row. And then, if each row daw has two fewer seats than the row behind it, how many seats are there in the first row? So, ibig sabihin ko, meron daw tayong 80 seats dito sa 33rd rows, dapat yung 32nd row ay merong Two fewer seats than the 33rd row. Kasi daw, each row has two fewer seats than the row behind it. Therefore, sa 32nd row, meron tayong 78. Then, sa 31st row, meron na lang tayong 76. And so on. Hanggang mapunta tayo dito sa 1st row. So, ang tanong is, how many seats are there in the 1st row? Sa so, makapansin nyo, pwede natin tong i-compare sa isang arithmetic sequence. Kasi, Yung bawat row natin is may common difference na dalawa nga, 2. So, therefore, pag ginawa natin yun, gamitin natin yung n term for arithmetic sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So, ang alam natin is yung last term, right? Which contains 80 seats. So, pwede natin i-substitute yun dito. So, 80 is equal to a sub 1 siya yung hinahanap, right? Kung how many seats daw are there in the first row. So, unknown. Plus, and bali natin dito is, di ba, yung 80 seats is 33rd row. So, parang A sub 33 siya. So, we have 33 minus 1 times yung common difference natin bali is 2. Okay? So, therefore, we have 80 is equal to A sub 1 plus 33 minus 1 is 32. Then, times 2 is 64. So, transpose natin yung 64 sa left, magiging 80 minus 64 equals A sub 1. So, 80 minus 64 is what? 16. So, therefore, A sub 1 is 16. Or, the number of seats in the first row is just 16. Okay? Next, we have, 12 days before Christmas, Bong Bong planned to give his mother a Christmas gift. On the first day, he sent one gift. On the second day, he sent two gifts. On the third day, three gifts, and so on. How many gifts did Bongbong Bong send his mother after the 12th day? Okay, so si Bongbong Bong daw, 12 days before Christmas, ay nagplano daw na magbigay ng gifts sa kanyang mother. So sa first day daw, ang binigay niya is 1. Sa second day, binigay niya is 2. Sa third day, binigay niya is 3. And so on. So sa fourth day, therefore 4. Sa fifth day, therefore 5. Hanggang sa, therefore 12 day is 12 then right? So, ang tanong, how many gifts Bongbong Bong sent his mother after the 12th day? So, kailangan natin i-add lahat nung pinigyan yung regalo from first day to 12th day. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin dito yung arithmetic series kasi may common difference yung pagbigyan niya ng regalo, right? Which is just one, right? So, therefore, ang formula natin dun is what? S sub n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n, right? 
So, dahil n natin is 12, we have 12 over 2 times yung a sub 1 or yung first gift niya is 1 plus yung a sub n yung last gift niya is 12. So, we have 12 divided by 2 is 6 times 1 plus 12 or 13. So, 6 times 13 is what? 78. So, therefore, a total of 78 gifts are given by Bongbong Bong to his mother. Okay? Next, we have Find the value of x if the sequence 3 comma x comma 4 x over 3 is a arithmetic b geometric. Okay, so meron daw tayong given terms nung sequence which is tatlo lang 3 x and 4 x over 3. So hanapin daw natin yung value ng x para maging a arithmetic. So arithmetic muna. So para magawa yon, di ba alam natin na yung concept sa arithmetic sequence is meron silang common difference. So, pag sinubtract natin tong 4x over 3 minus x, dapat equal yung difference niya dito sa pag sinubtract naman natin tong x minus 3. Okay? So, therefore, ito yung equation natin for uh, arithmetic sequence. Okay? So, sub na lang natin for x. So, dahil may denominator tayo na 3, multiply natin both sides by 3. So, distribute, cancel si 3, magiging 4x, then magiging negative 3x, Equals, distribute din sa right, 3x, then negative 9. So, transpose ko dito si 3x, so magiging 4x minus 3x minus 3x equals negative 9. So, therefore, we have 4x minus 3x minus 3x is negative 2x, right? So, therefore, we have negative 2x equals negative 9. Divide both sides by negative 2, we have x is equal to negative 9 over negative 2 or 9 halves. Okay? So, therefore, the value of x for this sequence to be arithmetic is 9 over 2. Okay? Next, para naman sa geometric. So, same concept lang din. So, ba kapag geometric naman, kapag divide naman natin tong 4x over 3 by x, dapat equal yung common ratio nga dito kapag divide naman natin tong x sa 3. Okay? So, solve na lang natin itong equation for x. So, sige, cross-multiply natin. So, magiging 4x over 3 times 3 equal x squared. Right? So, dito makakancel si 3. Magiging 4x is equal to x squared. So, quadratic. So, transpose ko dito si 4x na magiging 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x. So, factor natin. 0 is equal to x times x minus 4, right? Tapos, equating each factor to 0, we have x is equal to 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. So, therefore, x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 4. Transpose. So, therefore, the value of x for the sequence to be geometric is x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4. Okay? Next, we have, suppose Rico saves 100 pesos in January and that each month thereafter, he manages to save one half more than of what he saved the previous month. How much is Rico savings after 10 months? Okay, so kung nagsisave daw si Rico, nung January is nakasave siya ng 100 pesos. And then yung sumunod daw na buwan ay tumaas ng one half more dun sa previous month. So therefore, kung 100 yung January, sa February ilan na? Times 1.5 nito, right? Kalahati nito is 50 plus yung original na 100, 150, right? So, 150. And then, sa third month, sa March, kalahati uli nito, idadagdag dito sa 150. So, ilan na yun? 150 divided by 2 is 75. So, 75 plus 150 is 225. And so on, hanggang ma-reach niya yung 10 month. So, ano ngayon daw yung Rico savings after 10 months. So, isa sum up natin tong masisave niya from January to the 10th month. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin tong ma-represent as geometric series. Series kasi nga, meron silang common ratio na 1.5 or 3 halves, right? So, pag dinivide natin to, 150 by 100, ang ratio nila is 3 halves. And then ito, pag dinivide natin tong 2 to 5 by 150, ang ratio is 3 halves. So, geometric series. Okay? So, ang formula natin for geometric series is S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. Okay? So, given naman tayo ng first term na 100 
times 1 minus common ratio nga is 3 halves then raised to n. So, yung n natin bali is 10 kasi from January to the 10th month, right? So, therefore, 10 over 1 minus r na 3 halves then. Okay? So, ilan to? 100 times 1 minus ano yung 3 over 2 quantity raised to the 10. So, parang 3 to the 10 over 2 to the 10, right? So, sige, using calculator, it is Sa numerator is 59,049. Sa denominator is 1,024. Over, 1 minus 3 halves is negative 1 half. Okay? So, ilan na to bale? 100 times, pag ginawa natin tong single fraction is parang 1,024 minus 59,049 over 1,024, right? Over negative 1 half. So, using calculator, so, ilan to? 100 times 1,024 minus 59,049. Negative 58,025 over 1,024. And then, itong negative 1 half sa denominator, pali magiging 2 over 1 yun, di ba, kapag division. Itong negative niya, tsaka itong negative na to, parang magka-cancel, sa so magiging positive. So, ito nilang directly input natin sa calculator. 100 times 58,025 over 1,024 times 2. Okay? So, the final answer would be 11,333.01 pesos. So, therefore, ito yung total na masisave ni Rico after 10 months. Okay? Next, we have a rubber ball is trapped on a hard surface from a height of 80 feet and bounces up and down. On each rebound, it bounces up exactly one half the distance it just come down. How far will the ball have traveled if you catch it after it reaches the top of the seven bounds? Okay, so meron daw tayong ball. So, yung first bounce daw niya, nag-start siya from height of 80. And then, kada bounce up, bounce down niya, magiging kalahate. So, Kung nag-bounce down siya, pag nag-bounce up siya, magiging kalahate yung iba-bounce up niya. So, kung 80 to, magiging 40 na lang, right? So, ito yung first bounce down and bounce up, or first bounce. Then, sa second bound, magiging sa 40 to. So, from 40, magba-bounce down siya, and then magba-bounce up kalahate uli. Okay? So, magiging ilan na lang to? 20. Okay, so ito yung first ito yung second. And then, doon sa kanyang third bounce, sa so magsisimula na siya dito sa 20. So, pag taas niya sa 20, magbabounce down siya ng 20 din, then magbabounce up ng kalahate sa magiging 10. Okay, third. Okay? And then, sa fourth bounce, sa so magsisimula naman siya sa 10, tapos bababa uli siya ng 10 feet, and then magbabounce siya pabalik as 5 na lang kalahate. So, fourth. So, hanggang kailan ba hinahanap? Hanggang 7th. So, kung nyari, nagtuloy-tuloy ito. Okay? Hanggang 7th bounce. Okay? So, yung tinatanong is, how far will the ball have traveled if you catch it after it reaches the top of the 7th bounce? So, yung total distance daw na na-bounce or na-travel ng ball. So, for the first bounce, ano siya? 80 plus 40, right? 120. And then, sa second bounce, 40 plus 20, ilan? 60. Then, sa third bounce, 20 plus 10, 30. Sa 5th bounce, 10 plus 5, 15. And so on. So, mapapansin nyo, yung distance na travel ng bola, kapag nagbabounce siya is, ano na buo nating sequence? Geometric. Kasi parang na-half siya, right? So, 120, naging kalahate, naging 60, naging 30, naging 15, and so on. Okay? So, pwede natin gamitin dito yung arithmetic series. So, therefore, we have S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to N over 1 minus R. So, A sub 1 natin is 120. Tapos, 1 minus R, common ratio nga nila is 1 half, right? And then, raised to, dahil pang 7 yung hinahanap natin, N natin is 7. So, raised to 7. Over 1 minus R na 1 half ulit. Okay? So, ilan to? 120 times 1 minus 1 half raised to 7 is 1 over 128. Over 1, one minus 1 half is 1 half. Okay, so ilan na to? 120 times parang 128 minus 1 over 128 over 
one half. Or 120 times 127 over 128 times 2. Tataas si 1 half, right? So, ano to? 120 times 127 over 128 times 2. Equal to 238.125 feet. So, therefore, ito yung total distance na travel ng ball after it reaches the top of the 7 bounds. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, Word Problems in Sequence and Series. So, sana yung may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panunood.